Working in a garage is not exactly Camelot, but it's where I met Zack. I'm a wizard who works alone. Not anymore. Now they tell me I need an apprentice. And he's it. The Merlin? You have to be over 1,600 years old. Well, I do 30 push-ups a day, and I don't eat fried food. Did you part the Red Sea? Oh, I'm good, but I'm, I'm not that good. Dinner at seven. Make sure you're on time. <laughs> Zach. Zach. We interrupt this broadcast for an important announcement. Dinner will be served at Max Merlin's at seven o'clock sharp. Don't be late. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Merlin. Should I wear anything special? Matching socks. <laughs> What's so special about having matched socks? They make your feet happy. They make me happy. <laughs> and please, no sneakers. Why are you always picking on my clothes? A wino would pick on your clothes. <laughs> well, I don't pick on your clothes. I give you no cause. <laughs> I hate your hat. This hat was handmade in the Tyrolean Alps by wandering shepherds. It's a combination of Swiss linen, Corinthian leather, and yak fur. <laughs> Considered by experts to be a classic, it can be worn formally. Traditionally, even casually. It is, young man, the perfect hat. Well, I still hate it. Dress for dinner will be sport jacket, tie, matching socks, and no sneakers. Oh, yeah? Well, what if I don't come? The perfect idea. To go with the perfect hat. Since you're acting like an old married couple, Oh, it's just been on my case all week. You haven't done anything right all week. Since you're getting along so well, why don't I join you for dinner? Oh, no way. If he gets reinforcements, so do I. All right. Invite anyone you want, except Leo. Great grub, Mr. Merlin. <laughs> this Leo is not grub. Grub is served from a chuck wagon. <laughs> this is beef bourguignon. So, uh, how'd you do in the track meet yesterday? I won. Great. And I wore sneakers and I didn't wear a tie. <laughs> uh, Zach, why don't you and I start clearing the table? say a word to Zach during dinner. Yes, I did. I said, Zach, pass the salt. Oh, you didn't even look at him. I look at him enough. What color are his eyes? Well, how should I know? They're closed half the time. Oh, I see the problem, Max. You don't really know him. You guys need to spend some time together. The problem is we're always together. There should be more to your relationship than work and magic. Glad you came tonight. I had to. My mom was making liver. Did you notice me and Mr. Moran are having problems? You think people notice World War II? <laughs> Man doesn't think anything like me. He's forgotten what it's like to be young. You're in the generation gap. Yeah? We got a gorge. <laughs> My father and I used to have the same problem. You know what brought us back together? What? We went camping. Camping? Camping. It's a wonderful idea. That's what Mrs. Lincoln said on the way to the theater. Me and Mr. Merlin alone? Camping? Whew, I'll pass. It's a perfect way to get to know one another. I read an article in Reader's Digest about how healthy camping is, especially for old people. It's for you. What? 
Oh. I'll get it. Hello? If you and I went camping, you'd probably turn me into a rock and sit on me all weekend. Uh-uh. There can't be any magic. You have to get away. Not as magicians or mechanics, but as friends. Hey, guys. You two need each other. Well, if you're willing, I am. No magic, huh? Uh-uh. Just two men learning to communicate, depending only on each other to survive the challenges of Mother Nature. I know Mother Nature. She doesn't go camping. Max, just give it a try. You know anything about camping? No. How about you? Zip. Perfect. That's the strangest phone call. My dad called to say that he loved me, but it had nothing to do with the camping trip. <laughs> That's it. Richard the Lionheart, it took less on the Crusades. But now. I'll drive. Leo gave me a map of all the shortcuts, detailed directions to the exact spot. We'll be there by lunch. <laughs> well, we're here. Oh, good. Must be lunchtime. <laughs> Sorry for the wrong turn. Anyone can get a flat. Two flats, one spare tire, three hours spent in front of Homer Pringle's honeybee farm, three stings, one doctor, twelve dollars, and four more hours. Ah, but we're here. It's definitely the spot. See the two oaks in the cave over there? Well, pitch a tent, start a fire. I even bought my guitar and some camping songs. We'll sing tomorrow. I want to eat and lie down. I'm a hungry, swollen old man. Well, I'll take care of the food, and we'll be eating in an hour. Leave it to me, we'll eat in a second. Oh, we took an oath. We made a vow. No magic. And we're honor bound to keep that vow. Thank you, Mother Cabrini. Can I have a cookie while I'm waiting? There are no cookies. We got a grocery bag. But we got uh, hamburgers, hot dogs, and bacon. That's it? That's it. No eggs, no buns, no dips, no chips. <laughs> hamburgers, hot dogs, and bacon. I'm so hungry I could cry. <laughs> <laughs> Took them long enough to get here. <laughs> they must have been fighting all the way. But at least they made it. Yeah, this is a good idea, coming up here to keep an eye on them. That way, they get into trouble, and we're right here. Is this a Cub Scout shirt? Yeah. Why so depressed? <sighs> Got it when I was nine. It still fits. <laughs> Leo, this beef stew is delicious. done everything. As soon as we finish eating, I'll help you set up your tent. Well, that is my tent. <laughs> I thought you said it was mine. It's, uh, it's ours. <laughs> I'm a black belt in karate. You try anything, I'll break your arm. <laughs> You cremated it. Well, who burned the hot dogs while I was fixing the tent? I'm a gourmet cook, not Davy Crockett. <laughs> well, I'm starving. What am I supposed to do? And if you want any breakfast in the morning, go kill yourself a wild boar. I burned the bacon, too. <laughs> Anything for a pizza. <laughs> One giant pepperoni pizza coming up. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, well, it's better than nothing. Mr. Merlin's bedroll. Must be freezing. our way you forgot the food what? and you smell like pizza well that was only a little cheap we do what we can this all has to go you can have one slice of pizza if i can keep my bathroom no deal alex said we should depend on each other and she's right you can have two slices of pizza if i can keep my bathroom zach my boy breaking your word is an act of hostility responsibility is the cornerstone all of... right all right don't nag. <laughs> well, you happy now? It's gonna be good, Mr. Merlin. As little orphan Annie says, the sun will come out tomorrow. Or not. <laughs> well, at least we have one tent. I'd hate to be sleeping outside in that. Leo! Yes. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm a little wet. <laughs> you want to come in? You won't hit me? <laughs> I won't hit you. I promise. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I was just, I was just thinking. You know, a man my age, a boy your age, we both build a tent. No magic, mind you, just regular tent building. Mine is firm, resolute, watertight. Yours is on its way to Sacramento. <laughs> <laughs> does that, that tell you anything? Yes, it does, Mr. Merlin. Would you like to hear it? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm sure it's this way, Mr. Merlin. No, it's got to be over here. Why do I feel like I'm in a Chinese parade? <laughs> There's the cave. OK, they found it. And now they're inside. But we can't see them. How are we going to know how they're doing? I could pop down. I mean, uh, I could sneak down there and find out. You? Uh, no, I'll go. I mean, I'm already wet. Wait a minute, I want to give you something to wear. Nice fire going there. It's amazing the miracles you can perform with a pack of dry matches. I thought I'd put them in here. I found some marshmallows under my socks. You eat them. They're in a bag, Mr. Merlin. They went on. You're supposed to be toasting marshmallows, not incinerating them. I like them like this. Yes, well, you're wrong. This is the way it should be done. First I don't know how to dress, now I don't know how to eat. What are you doing? You gotta eat the whole thing at once. Don't be ridiculous. You don't eat the gooey stuff without the crust. It's no good. Don't tell me what's good. I used to toast marshmallows with Mrs. O'Leary. <laughs> this thing's got a little out of hand. You know, I can't tell you anything. You just told me how to eat. Well, what's the point? You're stubborn and you're an egomaniac. I am not. Yes, you are. You won't even try one my way. Satisfied? It's a start. Oh! Well, what's go? What's going on? I think I broke a heel. I'm in the cave! Oh, there's big trouble. They're screaming and yelling about marshmallows and Mrs. O'Leary. I think the rain's getting to them. Ah! What? Something big and hairy just went by! Where's my knife? Ah! Where's my axe? Don't panic. Here, use my nail file. All right. <laughs> A 
perfect. <laughs> I finally did something right. No, oh, you finally did something the way I wanted. How come? I don't know. It just felt okay. Mr. Merlin. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm sorry for calling you an egomaniac. Why? I'm trying to apologize. No, well, that's what you think I am. Don't apologize. Okay. But I do think you're stubborn. You do? Yeah. You never take the time to understand how I feel. If something I need doesn't fit for you, you go nuts. You mean like unmatched socks and dirty sneakers? Oh, yeah. Well, you're right. They do drive me nuts. Well, I feel the same way uh, about dressing up for dinner or, or keeping my shoelaces tied. Things like that drive us both nuts. Yet we never talk about it. Wind's a good sign. Means the storm is moving. Should be nice tomorrow. Please be afraid of the wind. What? I used to be afraid of the wind. You want to talk about it? No, they're not talking by now. They're probably punching each other out. I doubt that, Leo. Alex, they were screaming at each other. I should have never mentioned camping in the first place. It was a lousy idea. It was a good idea. Maybe they just can't handle it. Alex, we got to save them. I think it's the sound the wind makes. It always left me feeling alone. Then one day, uh, must have been about 10, I was trying to fly my kite. Wind was blowing. I couldn't hold it. There wasn't enough tail. I was all upset and crying. To my dad. Dad came back from work and saw me. Took off his tie and made the tail a little longer. And it flew. I love that he did that. At his funeral, wind was blowing, and just like that, I wasn't afraid anymore. Ever since then, the wind makes me think of that kite and my dad. You miss him? Yeah. He always made the goblins under my bed go away. I wish I'd met your dad. Two would have hit it off. You think so? Also hated it when my socks didn't match. Mm. Uh, I feel good. I haven't talked to anyone about my dad in a long time. It's good to talk about feelings. How come we've never talked like this before? It's easier for me to tell you how much I hate your socks and for you to tell me how much you hate my hat. People will feel more comfortable with that kind of chatter. They don't trust each other to deal with the real stuff. It's like when you say, have a nice day, and you really don't give a damn. That closes people off. It doesn't bring them closer. Maybe I talk to you about my dad. 
because I trust you. Am I? I hope so. Well, it's been a long day and a good one. Let's try and get some sleep, huh? Maybe tomorrow we can go fishing. Can I make us a nice boat? I don't think Alex would mind that at all. With a motor, stocked with food, some root beer, some real beer. Uh, now I think we're communicating. Night, Zach. Good night, Mr. Merlin. as usual. You're gonna need about three pounds of fish helper, though. <laughs> Guys, how did it go? Oh, uh, except for a little weather problem, it worked. I'm just sorry you weren't there to see it. Oh. Achoo! You got a cold, Alex? Uh, allergies. Uh, I I'm allergic to small fish. <laughs> or sleeping out in the rain. You knew Leo when I were up there? You and Leo? I found out this morning. How? You left something behind. Oh. Oh. He told me everything. Big mouth bunny. Where's Leo now? Oh, he's a mess. His bike broke down three miles out of town. He thinks I took a cab. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure glad you two guys are friends again. But next time, Move over. I'm sleeping in the cave. <laughs> Taxi! <laughs> Leo! <coughs> what happened? <coughs> My bike broke down. Where? In a pig farm? <laughs> it's a long, long story, Mr. Merlin. I just came by to see how your weekend was. Oh, we had a blast. The spot you picked out for us was perfect. In fact, I was thinking, maybe next weekend you and I can go. You know, camping, living outdoors, getting close. <laughs> if I can bring my room, I'll think about it. <laughs> you know, I learned something very important this weekend. Yeah, what's that? Well, that it's okay to give someone up. It's important enough to someone you care about. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more. 